Morning, gents. How are you all doing? Good morning, John. I'm good. Thank you. It's wonderful to see you. It's been a while. John, very nice to see you again. I'm very excited and looking forward to being part of this Africa special. All right. Thanks, guys. So, Chris, maybe you can talk to us about some of the challenges um, which telcos uh, have to face when operating within a government framework. One of the many advantages of of the world mobile model is that it operates to some degree autonomously and independent of central government. And central government in some of the jurisdictions we're talking about has degrees of corruption in all or part of it. And therefore anything which is centrally driven and top down is susceptible to those kinds of issues. World mobile, since it operates using frequencies which are not licensed centrally and using demand which is generated at a local level, is to some extent insulated from those kinds of pressures. Charles, how do we bridge this divide to drive further inclusivity across our societies in Africa? We need to have inclusivity in terms of communication, both for urban and rural areas. What impact will that have in terms of economic development? Uh, much of our economy, much of our social lives, much of our economic lives now depends on digital connectivity. And for those people in Africa, they're missing out and they're increasingly being subjected to, uh, you know, a digital divide between those who have connectivity and those who don't. What would be the specific key benefits from connecting these unconnected populations? Definitely financial inclusion. I think access to various types of government services. With digital technology and the digitization of land records and other government things, you could access that from your phone sitting in your village. Then you could then go to a microfinance person to borrow money, to buy crops, all kinds of things like that. Charles, can you add to that? We must be able to bring cost-effective communication so that in the end, it's not a question of commercial issues, it's a question of people being included and be people being in one society to communicate and relate to each other.